Uh, InterSocial actually stands for an integrated uh, sustainable algae production and the aim of the project is to produce 100 tonnes of biomass per hectare per year. We're looking to first of all produce one hectare site and then the aim is actually then to move that up to a 10 hectare site getting new funding from investors to actually demonstrate that algae is a sustainable source of biodiesel fuel. Microalgae are becoming more interesting for biofuel for production because they don't use land that's used for crop production. They're actually one of the fastest uh, photosynthesizing uh, organisms on the planet, um, much faster than uh, plants do. So it's a very quick way of actually uh, capturing the sunlight into uh, a fuel system. The idea is to actually integrate both heterotrophic growth and phototrophic growth. Heterotrophic growth has got the advantage of, because it doesn't require light for the algae to grow, we can actually produce much higher cell densities uh, than the phototrophic system. Unfortunately, we also require a carbon source to do that, which means that we produce carbon dioxide. Whereas on the phototrophic system, the carbon source is the carbon dioxide, so that we can combine the two systems and produce a sustainable uh, production of microalgae for biodiesel production. The carbon source we'll be using is glycerin, which actually is a byproduct of the biodiesel process. So once we're actually producing biodiesel, we can then recycle that glycerin, the, the byproduct from that process, back to the beginning of the process. So that again, we've got a complete closed system for the carbon. The main and innovative approach is because of using the heterotrophic system. Uh, of the 100 tonnes uh, target, we can actually produce 80 tonnes from the heterotrophic system. And because of the cell densities, we are probably about 10 times more dense than coming out of the phototrophic system which means our costs for the harvesting are much, much more reduced, make meaning that it's actually probably a more sustainable route to actually produce the uh, microalgae. The harvesting is one of the most challenging uh, problems with microalgae because of the low densities. From the heterotrophic system, this is not a problem because we've managed to get the density up. In the phototrophic system, we are looking at roots to settle the algae using a very low energy methods such as flocculation uh, as a route to pre-settling the algae. The one hectare unit which we've just received permission to construct will be based just outside Faro in the Algarve in Portugal. The unit will consist of a series of heterotrophic fermenters and then these will be then integrated into both tubular PBR systems and erasways to show a full integration. So the one hectare site will be used to provide operational data and financial information for us to put together a business case to build a 10 hectare site and we'll be starting to look for investors for that 10 hectare site. One of our partners is uh, providing us expertise in doing uh, life cycle analysis. So this will be taking a full systems approach to from all the way from the production, so the actual building of the unit, including the operations, uh, the feedstocks we use, and also where the, all the byproducts go, and providing us with a full farm carbon footprint of the production the process of the biofuels. This can then be used as comparison to other biofuel production and also to fossil fuels. InterSocial is a, one of three projects funded by the European Commission uh, called the Algae Cluster. The life cycle analysis will actually be compared across all three projects, those being biofat and all gas. Um, all of them are targeted for producing the same amount of algae in different methods and focusing on different parts of the value chain. The life cycle analysis across all three projects will allow a comparison with all the different approaches to then provide the European Commission with a view on what the most sustainable route for biofuel production from microalgae could be.